Hey there! In this power-up I will be showing you how to sort and order your data. Also, I will show you how to filter your data using the Composer Pro. The example we will be working on is a list of employees which includes their names, departments and in which cities they work. In addition to ordering the list according to department, we will want to be able to search employees by name, by department and by city. Let's start from the beginning. I already have my list of employees defined in the page variables as employees. In the view, I have displayed the employee names, their departments and their cities using the repeat with property. Currently, they are in a random order. In Composer Pro, we can either use the sort or order formula functions to modify the order of the list. Sort is used to sort lists of numbers or text while order sorts according to a given formula. You can choose to sort in an ascending or descending order, ascending being the default. Note also that there are other variations of the sort formula function. Sort case sensitive, sort by key, and sort by key case sensitive. In this example, we will want to order the list according to the department of the employees. We will use sort as the departments are text types that we want to sort alphabetically. We can do the sorting by binding a formula to the repeat with property. The formula looks like this. Sort by key, page variable employees, and department. There! In the preview we can see that the employees are now sorted according to the departments in the default ascending order. Moving on to filtering, we will want to be able to search employees by name, by department, and by city. Let's start with building the filtering options. Let's add an input field where we can search for the names of employees and add two drop-down fields for the departments and cities. Then let's quickly style and label them. There! For the drop-down fields, we will want to include all the different departments and cities that can be found in our employee list. We can define the options in the option list property. Using a formula, we can map out all department options in the employees list. The option list property requires an array of objects with the label and value properties, so let's map it according to that. The formula is map page variables employees, where the label is the items department and the value is also items department. However, now the option list includes multiples of each option. Let's remove duplicate values by adding the formula function unique by key into the formula, like so. To make our filtering even better, let's add an option to remove a selected option. We can do this with the help of CONCAT, which combines multiple lists into one list. Let's add a no selection option with an empty value to our existing option list. It would look like this. Now we have our department options all mapped out and ready to use. Let's do the same for the city drop-down field. Ready! To be able to use the values in the input field and the drop-down fields to filter our employee list, we will have to bind those three values into separate page variables. You can name them whatever you like. I'll use name filter, department filter, and city filter. All of them are text types. Going back to the view, let's bind the value properties of each filter to the variables. Now we can use the values in the filtering fields to toggle the visibility of each item list. Choose the repeating component and go into advanced properties. Using a formula in the visibility property, we can access the page variables for the filters. In this example, the formula would look like this. This formula checks if the selected filter options correspond with the current list items properties. I use the lowercase formula to make sure the name search is not affected by differing uppercase or lowercase inputs. As you can see in the preview, all filtering options work perfectly and quickly for our list. Clearing the name search or selecting no selection in the drop-down fields removes all filters. I hope you enjoyed this power-up, and let's meet again soon.